Hello there! In this video, I want to create a TVR's setup project so that whenever I create a new tutorial or some go through, I will not be needing to explain each step I took to import TVR to the project. And I will be starting from the most basic steps to last steps. I will be creating my project first of all. Going with Unity Hub, I'm going with New. So the version of my Unity is the latest version of Unity I have at the moment is 2019.3.0f6 and probably I will continue using this version since I am procrastinating on downloading the new version and I don't have a lot of this space in my computer so it's another reason. Let's call this one Team VR. And yes, uh, I will be creating all my SteamVR projects with 3D template if I don't declare otherwise. And Unity Log. Okay, now I am an editor. I will be starting by importing SteamVR plugin to my game project. And to do that, we can go to Windows Set, Asset Store, which was already there. But I wanted to show you the flow. Now search for SteamVR asset, go to its page and import when it is ready. I will be always import all the things if I don't declare otherwise. So whenever SteamVR plugin imported to Unity, it checks project settings and also recommends project settings for SteamVR. I always go with accept all and it happens with no problem and also I have a nice nice comment from Unity that I made the right choice. And there it is, now our project uh, almost ready to use SteamVR. So our project is almost ready. But before that I need to set SteamVR actions. I prefer to use default action set among the already provided action sets. Just click save and generate and yes. Now we have two more folders about SteamYard imprint binding. Closing it down. Now my project is SteamYard ready. Let's modify our scene so it will also be SteamYard ready. I will start by adding the player prefab to scene. I just go and search for it but it is in Asset SteamYard Interaction System Core Prefabs. But you can always search from here. Uh, now my players at the scene. The player needs a grant, and we will provide that grant by adding a plane to scene. I will not be changing the place of the player. It will be at zero zero zero, and plane is also zero zero zero. And now we have the player, and now we have the plane. But if we would run the game we will get errors because there are two audio listeners in the scene one in main camera and one in one of the components of player which is follow head component here is the player's audio listener uh, to prevent having errors caused by more than one audio listener in the scene uh, I'm deleting the main camera now I have my player and my plane on the scene Everything is almost ready, but generally I use a column to put things on while I am at I am on VR. And I just want to create that column as well while we are at it. This is just such big cube and scaling down to very close to my player. Move it out to where my player looks at. My player looks at the, at the Z direction of its transform. I am putting my column in front of my player maybe just a little bit mm, farther away the player okay now our scene is ready but my headset is not yet ready so let me just wake it up from mixed reality portal unity could also do that but i didn't want to choose it so now i am getting my uh, headset to be ready now let's go and start the project in Unity. And okay, the column is very small and very far away from me. And I will now place it as sizes. 
and my project is running and I will do that by go to scene get the uh, size and focus and pull, pull up, 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 up. Uh, yes this is a nice height and maybe I can give it a little bit more dimension and some width so this is how I will be setting the size of my column to where my headset is so this is what I see this just looks good to me and what I do after I set the sizes is that I go to my uh, cube game object component copy transform component get out of the play mode and paste the copied values and now my column is ready now my player is ready my column is just here and one last test on the scene and our project is ready to go here is my column here is me and also I want to show you my song uh, which I will probably be using most of the tutorials on the one hand and the reason is that I don't like to change the batteries of my hands here my hands very well synchronized so yes here is my hands and this is the end of the tutorial thanks to this video now we will not be losing any time on other VR topics to set up the VR project and this will be my core flow of setting up a VR project for SteamVR in Unity for my tutorials this can also be called a SteamVR initial setup one last thing on the setup I will be changing the collider of the plane to a box collider not the mesh collider so that it will create a performance increase and that concludes what I will be doing for starting a SteamVR project in this video imported the SteamVR player to scene uh, we get rid of two of the possible errors of in playing starting your SteamVR which was double audio listeners we omitted it with deleting the main camera and the other one was not having SteamVR actions file set and we did that from Windows SteamVR input later on we put a plane to the scene so our player can walk on and also we add a cube to the scene uh, so that player can interact with something uh, with the player's height and yes that's it for this video I hope you like this one I hope it will be helpful when you're starting up SteamVR or also to have your mind away from some more complex things and if you are here from another tutorial videos of mine welcome and yes if you like this one consider giving a like subscribe channel comment down below what you like about it what, what you didn't like about it what can I do to improve the quality of these tutorials and you finished the video see you in the next explorations of our game journey